Hello everybody, this is Yasmin from Gyro Talk. After our last time, the live on the use of LNT, many end users have messaged us to ask more questions. Therefore, we're going to have these extra Q&A sessions. So today, let's first watch the replay of last live together. And meanwhile, you can send your questions in the chat box. And then Wei Chi and Tim will answer your questions after the replay finished. So enjoy. This is Wei Chi. This is Hello. Tim. Hello. It's the second time we meet you guys. Our live stream <coughs> Q&A series will run on a regular basis. Now uh, we are waiting for people to join. I have seen many people uh, have come in. AG Tech Uruguay. Hello. Welcome. And Ram, welcome who are watching the live and those of you who will watch today. You might know from the title today, our live is going to be about five tips on the using of LNT, namely the local network terminal. So how about uh, let's do a simple online snow type one in the chat box if you have received the book, the user guide. Hi elves. Uh, forgive me if I uh, mispronounce your name. Hello, have you have you received the user guide of LNT, and have you read uh, read through them? So today we have invited the two writers of LNT, uh, Wei Zhi and Tim. Let's give a big hand of them and the. Uh, thank you for their contributions. Live stream is divided into five parts. Uh, the first one is adapter and antenna. Second is configuring and setting up, then working mode of LNT. Fourth, uh, firmware updating and turn on or turn off the LNT. So Wei Zhi will and Tim will share tips on the five points one by one about will be the first thing explained and the Q&A session follows. So let's get straight to the first part, the adapter and antenna. Okay, uh, so it's my part. Uh, yeah. Hello everyone again. Yeah, how do uh, so you use the adapter? Could you share with yes, us? Yes, uh, as we know, uh, if you have already uh, unboxed, uh, unboxed the LNT, <laughs> you have two uh, chargers. One is uh, it, you need to connect with our smart battery, and one of it is a car charger, and yeah. it's, it's like this. Okay, Connected can, to the car. Yeah, you can charge it on the car. So we only have two ways for now, and yeah. uh, I think <coughs> all of users will we think our this one, if we connect with our uh, smart battery, you need to have an extra battery, so it's a little bit expensive. expensive. So, so is there any cheaper way yeah, to yeah. So we uh, are do the charging of the new one. What's that? Yeah, this the, one. It looks like the charging of computer. Yeah, it's a, just like an adapter of the computer. One, one side yeah. is for the LNT, and yeah. another side is like this. Okay, it's, it's like uh, the city power. Yeah, it's it's for the city powers. You can directly uh, charge our um, LNT mm -hmm. directly to the, to the city powers. So this has new. This is a new one. So I need to remind you uh, of these things. First mm -hmm. is uh, th this version is for Chinese. Maybe it's not uh, accepting your country, so it needs to. Yeah, you need another, to prepare the adapter. Another adapter, so you you uh, can use your city powers. And the second one is, as you know, we cannot uh, uh, force the lack. Uh, you need to use the mobile power bank mm -hmm. to charge the battery to use our adapters. Yeah. Okay? Uh, so uh, I have one thing to tell, to tell you. Our power of, uh, of the LNT is uh, 36 watts. 36 watts. So if you want to buy a mobile power bank for charge the battery, mm -hmm. so you need to uh, watch this number. Okay. Uh, yep. Maybe you can do a calculation. Yeah. Could you do a calculation now for us? Yes. Bring on. A board. Yeah. Um, please pass me the. Yeah. Pen. I will. I will. Yeah. Will to give for example, the, our. Sorry. It's thirty-six. Sorry, I didn't. We will show the calculation to our audience. Yeah. Remind you if you. Could are, you give me a close-up to the board? Yeah, normally, for example, if one wants to work 10 hour, 10 hour, right? Yeah. So the volume is 306, 
team. Mm -hmm. What what hour? Okay. So you need to choose a volume of the mobile power bank which is above this number. That's I need to remind you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can maybe you can buy it on the Amazon or. Is it available now? Can I buy it now? Yeah, yeah, it's already available. So uh, can I contact our sales res representative or distributors now? Yes, yes, okay, of course. Everybody? It is already you hear prepared. Me? I, yeah. If you are interested in this adapter, please contact your distributors and sales res representative. Hello, new friends, welcome. Hello, thank you for your support. Great production XAG team, thank you. Hola. Hey, Weichi. Someone say hi to you. Hello. Uh, that's great news for the new adapter. Uh, and you can buy it and your charging cost will be saved significantly. Audience who are interested and want to buy, please post a yes in the chat box. Could you post a yes in the chat, chat box if you are interested in this adapter? OK. Kind of delay. So back to our topic today and how to use and replace the antenna. Okay. Could you share with us? Of course. Here is an NNT. So as we know, we have two Thanks antennas. Thanks, Matthews. We have two antennas here. Okay, and mm -hmm. it can disconnect directly with the uh, LNT. And you can. Some of our users may think the coverage is not large enough. Mm -hmm. uh, for the R LNTs, maybe you want to become a change, large, change it the, uh, more coverage. Yeah, yeah. So it needs to change the antennas, and the original antennas is uh, the power of the the original antennas is mm -hmm. two dBi, and yep. uh, the interface of the type of the our uh, antenna it called the TNC J male. So it must be uh, by the same interface, mm -hmm. okay? And you buy a larger one as you wish, and you, you can do some tests, and if you want to, to I, I think we already have some uh, distributors and users already have them. If you have that, you yeah, can share it's it here. Yeah, it's already in our comment. Yeah, you can, you can share it here. TNC J mail. Yeah. So uh, you can buy it also, I think, in From Amazon. From yeah. Amazon, yeah. OK. But you, one thing I need to remind you is uh, please respect your local law, because we yep. made some laws to, to um, it's forbidden to buy a very large one. Yeah. So that's that's very important. So we we only make a uh, this one. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Wichu. Uh, actually, I'm curious about uh, can our latest drone model P100 can connect it to the LNT? Yes, of course. And yeah, what about P410? Yeah, P40? it's the same. It's the same way as the and P40 and X P40. XP? What about XP? No, no, no. XP 2020 cannot uh, connect with the LNT because they are not the same generation. Okay, the flight controller different. Yeah, it's okay. different. Thanks. Um, now you can ask questions in that chat box when you post your questions in the live chat box, same as last time. Please briefly introduce your background, which country, origin you are from, and what problems you have encountered in the format of a country. Uh, origin uh, slash draw model slash problems which makes it easier to understand your situations everybody if you have any questions on this part please post that now we will wait like for like 10 seconds uh, I think there is a, yes, a question. Yes, question. Uh, can, can XAG, right? can yeah. XAG make a 12 volt lead, lead. without battery adapter? With battery? Yeah, it, this one is without battery. Okay? And you may. In, yeah, in you don't field, need the battery. You don't need battery, but in the field, you cannot find the city power. So you must be have the. Power if bank. You have, if you have a generator, yeah. you can directly put it on. Or you, ha you have another mobile power bank which is yeah. cheaper than our uh, battery. Yeah. Because our battery is using for, for the drones. And literally, like, you can uh, plug it into anywhere in your city. Yes. You can use the city So power. you can directly, this one, you can directly plug it on the I uh, like your computer. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, are there computer. any more questions? No. Hello, everyone. Is there any delay of the uh, network? 
if there is no for now and let's come to the next part so next part let's give the floor to Tim Tim Hi. is there anything we need to pay attention to when you do the configuration uh, yes can I have the, yeah, I the diagram oh, yes the schematic yeah thanks so uh, could you please hold it for me up. and can I have the pen the pen oh, this one oh okay so uh, so when we are configuring our mm -hmm. LNT, just make sure this uh, your LNT must connect to the internet. So usually yeah. you will connect your LNT uh, to your Wi-Fi routers. So mm -hmm. so in this way, the LNT can communicate with our XAG Cloud server uh, through the internet. Mm -hmm. So in this way, uh, on so when we are doing the configuration, actually the LNT is uh, synchronizing with our XAG cloud server, so just make yeah. sure. So, uh, uh, why to know why that. do we need to connect the LNT to the internet? Uh, because there uh, there are some data exchange okay. uh, from the XAG cloud server and the LNT, so they must um, communicate co uh, communicate with each other so that uh, we can uh, register the new device and okay. uh, get the configuration done. And you need to do the configuration uh, not in the field and in the office? Uh, yes, we strongly recommend everybody uh, configure the LNT mm -hmm. in your office or at home. So do not do this in the field because sometimes this, this process will become very messy. And also when you are um, configuring, mm -hmm. uh, so, do you, so try to read the LNT user guy and follow the steps. Yeah. I I saw most of people can uh, can configure this by themselves and just by reading the LNT user, user guide. guide. So it's very helpful. Yeah. Thanks. And thanks the two authors of the user guide. Um, let, let's see. Are there any questions uh, come from our users before? Uh, when it links to ACS2, the, what if the app shows timeout error? What's the reason for that? Oh, actually, this timeout is a fake error. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so it, this is a bug. So, uh, our engineers will uh, will fix this bug in the middle of the month. So, uh, so in, in, in that time, we will release the new firmware. And okay. Yes. Oh. Let's looking forward to that. Um, another question: After we have completed the configuration, when do I need to connect the internet again? Do I need to connect the internet again? Uh, yes, because uh, so after the uh, so after uh, the the fly mission is complete, mm -hmm. uh, so there are some logs in your. Uh, in the LNT or some new configuration or some new firmwares. So uh, please uh, connect your LNT to the internet so that the LNT can do the data sync, uh, exchange with the uh, XAG cloud server. Yes, yeah. the data sync. Yeah. Okay, so is there any questions from our users now, from the audience are watching now, uh, from Timba? What's the power of power bank to keep the LNT working in the field? What's the power of power bank to keep the LNT working in the field? I think you've already missed what, what I'm talking about. Uh, I, I oh. don't think that's matter because we have these adapters. So you can change it. You can do I the transfer. I think he just wants to ask what is the power of the the. I said there there's the power of our LNT is six thirty six watts. Mm -hmm. And you need to, to, to find out uh, the volume of your power bank, which half the, the, this uh, city power, city power. socket. And yes. you, you find a power bank, which volume is, is you need to do the calculation. This is, this is 36, for example, you want to do for working more than 10 hours. So mm -hmm. the volume of the mobile power bank must mm -hmm. be uh, about uh, 360 yes. mm -hmm. watt hour. Yep. Yeah, just ask the shopkeeper. I think that will be more easier. Yep. Yeah, the uh, next one. Uh, how can I check customer flight data or use it under LNT from other sites? How can I check 
customer flight data. Does that mean the XAG1 from flight? other sites? I don't understand from other well, sites. Could, <laughs> could you explain more about I your question? There is a question from from How can US I check uh, yes. customer? One of did? the main issue we have is that units are not in our US units like gallons, feet, etc. So far, we can only change the area to acres. But that um, I think that's, that's not a, a good point. I yeah, think. that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, maybe you need to talk to, to us and to show us what's the, the, the units uh, in, in your country. But I think acres and uh, we have three con we units yes. now. Yes. Acres. Yeah, now, now Simon, he, he wants more. He wants more units. Uh, I think you can talk to your sales representative and then we will this like we will definitely discuss this mm -hmm. afterward. Yes. 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 It's a really good point. Um, the next one for LNTI is sent with ah, and Neil has said it's from not from other sides. He wants to from other side. Ah, uh, other side from other side. From other side, I didn't understand. You wants That's to check really your customers' flight data. Check. You okay. wants to check your customer. I, I guess he might uh, might want to get the report of the flight. The flight report. I, I don't. I don't think he will have. I don't think the user don't have this pri privilege. Okay. Yes. If we have, we will talk it later. Um, if we no, come we, up, we don't have these features. Okay. Yet. So let's come to. Is there any more questions? If no, we will uh, come to our point. No? Okay. Uh, after we finish the configuration, we will prepare for the mission. Awechi, could you illustrate the connection of LNT in working mode, like in field mapping? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very important. So this, this tip is very okay. Could you, could, uh, here it is. Here. So as Tim said, we need to to the config after the configuration, mm -hmm. uh, during the configuration, we need to connect to the network for our LNT. So after the configuration, we mm -hmm. need to cut the connection between the, the, the internet, the router of um, here. So we need to cut it. And the system will be much more stable when the LNT doesn't connect to the other Wi-Fi mm -hmm. uh, connections. So we made a working mode, and yeah. it will directly cut the, the connection for the LNT to other routers. And I will show you where it, where it is. Uh, I already prepared. Your notebook. Yeah, we've already prepared uh, two LNTs okay. here. Here is our. You can watch. Here is our LNT website. I think you already knows about that. And here we have the root setup. Yes, and here we have a working mode. We have a working mode. It's all not hiding. Yeah, we've already opened it. Could you show them, please, that, that LNT, how, how, how does it show? This one? Yeah. yeah. The third light, it's stopped shining and it, it's off. Mm -hmm. That means the LNT doesn't connect to, to the other, other route. Yeah, other routes. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that will be work much more stable. And I will remind you that during the operation, Please mm -hmm. keep the working mode on. Okay, mm -hmm. that's for the working mode. And the second one, I would, I was to talk. Yeah, please. Thank you. It's this page. Yeah, it's, it's this page. In the field, and we want to do mapping. There is a problem we've got. Maybe we've got is the connection to the mobile phone to our LNT. The Wi-Fi connection may be just uh, uh, less than 100 meters. Mm -hmm. And if you want to do a mapping with... You for need example, to strengthen the yeah, connection. Yeah, one, for example, 500 meters with Wi-Fi to the... Here. To the Wi-Fi mm -hmm. to the SS2. And the SS2 connection between the, the LNT mm -hmm. it will be more, much more stronger than your mobile phone. Yeah, so that you can cover... So don't uh, forget to area. connect your mobile phone to the SS2 when you do the, the mapping. But, and don't forget, when you do operation, it needs to change back to this okay. one. When you do operation, when you it do needs operation to, change. Need to change back 
to connect your mobile phone directly yeah. to the LNT because this one is only for mapping. And if you continue to do that, it's not stable. There will be okay. get some errors when you go. Okay, when you uh, continue to mapping, yes. you need to back to this mode. Yes. And if you don't do that, you need to back to the previous one. Yeah, this one. Okay. Uh, you. Actually, we got some questions from Brazil pre uh, before, and he wants ask that why his mapping distance is only three meters when his phone has already connected to ACS2. Ah, here, here. Is there anything he needs to pay yes, attention to? Uh, you wants to? First thing you want to pay attention is that we want to, we need to set up our LNT much more higher. For mm -hmm. example, you can set up as in your on, on your car, yeah, or you set up uh, as at the little hill. Yeah, you need to set it high. Set it high. And the second one, here you must be pay attention that the antenna for our SS2, the Wi-Fi antenna mm -hmm. for our SS2 is here. There are two, one, two. And this one must be face to the LNT. In front of the LNT. Yeah. So and make sure there is no nothing between them. So even your body. Yeah. It, it's, it's bad. Yeah, your body. If anyway. I'm too fat. <laughs> That's only a joke. <laughs> yeah. Don't make sure that there is no. Uh, and you can. We need also to put the, this one higher also. Okay. Okay. If I be. have already done the two, but I still cannot cover that. Uh, broad area. Yeah, if you want to more than 800 meters, or mm -hmm. you want to say I want to one kilo or kilometers or more, so you need to change the antenna. Okay. So so I think you the only way is the only way is yeah, to there's only way to change make the, the, change the, the antenna. antenna. Um, and the, the next question is, what if the distance is too short? Actually, it's the similar one. And we also received a question about a customer asking that what brand of mobile phone is best suited for LNT. I guess uh, there are a lot of mobile phone yeah, brands, that's right? A good, that's a good question. There are a lot of, we, we are, the, our system is mm -hmm. working for a Android. So there are a lot of uh, brands. So for example, Huawei, Oppo, uh, Xiaomi, Vivo, uh, Vivo uh, Samsung. So it, there are a lot of so I think our users already find which is the stable one. Yeah. So could you could you type the the, the Facebook link here? If there are any users uh, okay. already tested, there is a brand m mobile phone is very stable, so they can. Yeah. Uh, okay. So all the audience and customers, because we cannot test all the brands of mobile phone. If you are using LNT, you're welcome to share your phone model and brand that has been stably uh, connected to LNT to our chat box now and or our common, a common area or Facebook group. What kind of film are you using now when you're connecting the LNT? Uh, I guess there is a question from the same P30 or XP user, we can check customer data, flight operation, or log customer drone by XHU code to website. So how about user under LNT, how uh, can I do it? I think that we'll do it. We will talk it later. Yes. Uh, I, will, I will give this question and yeah. answers later um, about that. The next one, Tim, from Tim. Hi, Tim. Can I share the field with another user under LNT mode? Actually, we will talk it later as well. Um, but yeah, we were the talking as we did. Yeah, okay. The flight report for all customers who are using. Yep. No more questions. Okay. Thank you. Thank you too. Um, if there is no questions, let's come to the next part. Tim, could you share with us how to do the up upgrading of the firmware? Okay. So you need to so share. So I think the so first thing is to check the firmware. Yes. Do we need to the, yeah. the diagram? Yes, please. Um, so first of all, um, so this is our LNTI already turned it on. And so the very first step is, let me put it, put in the password. Hmm. Uh, the Wi-Fi connection, please. Check the Wi-Fi connection. OK. Oh. I see. Yeah, don't forget that step. You can okay. show this. So now we are in the IoT uh, 
we are in the, in the IoT page, and then oh. so we can go. So to check this uh, firmware version, we press here, and then we go to the um, about device. Here we can see the version is 1.0.0.1a. So this is the latest uh, LNT firmware we have. Mm -hmm. So probably in the future we will have um, another version. So so right now I will show you how to upgrade this uh, LNT firmware. So if okay here here we go. Um, so this is already uh, one point. Uh, 0 0.018 and in the future if you probably you uh, do the factory reset and then it will downgrade to 0, 0, uh, 1003 or 1007 so in that case uh, you might need to upgrade this LNT back to the our latest version mm -hmm. which is the 18th version so to do that uh, firstly put the uh, 18 so 100 18 version firmware into this USB drive and then you need to this adapter this adapter is actually a type C and uh, uh, and the USB converter so you connect them in this way and then in right here you should you are a you should able to see there is a type C port so simply just put just, just insert the uh, USB flash drive into that port. Okay, it's right here. So, once the USB flash drive is inserted, uh, we will see there is uh, the fourth light is flashing in green. So this fourth light is actually the system light. So right now it means the firmware is uh, it's updating, so just wait for approximately 25 minutes, and it should be able to done. So during this process, please, please do not touch the device because um, the Type C port is very easily to loosen. So if I touch this USB flash drive, uh, it might be disconnect from the LNT. So mm -hmm. uh, the LNT upgrade process might be fail. So just be aware of that. Okay, so can I um, upgrade the LNT online? Uh, in the future, we we do, but right now it's uh, we, we are on waiting the, for that feature. Yes. So uh, when it will release? Uh, probably in the October. middle of October. Yes. Okay. So uh, if there anyone want to ask, where can I? find the latest firmware for LNT. Uh, it has already been uploaded to Google Drive. Please contact your distributors. Is there anything you are confused about? Please ask now about this part. Hello yes. from Ukraine. Uh, one of the... Okay. Is there any more questions? Yeah, we're waiting for questions. Uh, if no... We'll go to the next, next part. Yeah. Okay, so ne the last part is that how to turn on and turn off the LNT. And which could you tell us what needs to be noted when we do that? Yes, here I have uh, LNT. So I will. Oh, I think some of you, our users we may think they turn on the LNT and turn it off is very easy. So mm -hmm. It's not that that easy. So let's uh, first. It's let's difficult because it no, has it's not difficult. Maybe you can ma make some mistakes. You may, you broke your your LNT. So first, we need to power it on. And that's yep. easy. So let's power it on. Turn it on. OK? It's, it's already turned on. And okay. now, what it needs to do is waiting, OK? Mm -hmm. Because it will, oh, I think, after one minute, it will be uh, uh, blinking. Mm -hmm. this. And what it needs to do is waiting, OK? Wait, all the lights become constant, become solid. Mm -hmm. So during this time, just it's like a computer, right? So uh, during this time, I will introduce about the four lights. Okay, about the four lights. Uh, first one is uh, that is easy. It's the power lights. So when it's off, uh, it's they are didn't didn't have a power. When it's mm -hmm. on, it you have power. And the second one is the Wi-Fi connection for other devices. For example, SS2, 
and the RTK Rover uh, and the drone, the drone. Yeah, connect to the, to the uh, LNC. So mm -hmm. LNC is also a router. So that Wi-Fi connection for other devices. And the third light, as we already uh, said before, it's connected to the uh, another routers. routers. Okay, if it's on, that means it's connected with other routers. If it's off, it's not. Okay, mm -hmm. or it's on the working mode. Mm -hmm. And the fourth light is very important. Okay, it's the system lights. Normally, okay. it will also be the all uh, system of the drone. Yeah, all system. When it's yeah, look, it's blinking. When it's blinking, that means it's starting or it's updating. Mm -hmm. Okay, when it's off, that means your system maybe have some problem. So let's got uh, wait a little. I think it will be uh, less than one minute. It will be. What if the power of LNT was cut accidentally? What should I do? Ah, oh, uh, actually, it's he wants to ask if during the flight the the, the you are you are uh, ah, very worried about the if the during the flight. Yeah, the you c actually you can continue to do the operation. Yeah, actually our drone is very uh, smart. Uh, smart. So it will continue to do the operation, to the finish the mission. Mm -hmm. Then it will turn back to, to the to the landing point, and so don't worry about it. Okay, yeah. because your task has been uploaded. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, can so, we? So uh, I I didn't uh, finish about talking uh, how to <laughs> turn gone. it off. That is very important. So first it needs to wait. Uh, during the during its, its uh, starting, don't mm -hmm. do not touch anything, okay. And second, when you want to turn it off, that was easy, okay. Also, it needs to press hold, and that is off, okay. And one thing very important: mm -hmm. do not directly do this, okay? okay. When it's power on, do not directly disconnect the power mm -hmm. cable. Mm -hmm. That is very important. That may be directly hurt the the hardware for the LNT and mm -hmm. it may broken so that's very important mm -hmm. okay okay let's see the question now is it possible to update the LNT or not actually we have answered that yeah we have already answered yeah, we will uh, release that we will in release that October. in October October yeah next yeah. month and I think I can answer about the, those questions they ask about share the 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 the, the, the uh, uh, flying report yeah, in flight LNT flight. mode yeah so Actually, uh, now for for the uh, LNT, we're working. It's the XAG1 app. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, we already have the, the flight report uh, at the 4G connection, and uh, for the LNT, we are still working on it. So uh, I think that will be uh, also in next month. We will re release a new uh, firmware. Uh, you will see the flight report mm -hmm. uh, when you log in the XAG1 connect with the LNT. So. Let's so expect. please be a little patient, and also I think there is. Uh, uh, my question is how to improve the coverage of the signal for the other devices since the high crops is lost. It is lost very quickly, and it is even not possible to map easily the high crop like corn. Oh, uh, high crops. Um, so at first it needs to, to as as I said, mm -hmm. first it needs to to set it high. set it higher, and the second one I I suggest you to uh, first when it's not first if it is crop for example, you need to do the map uh, when it's not growing up, and okay. second uh, if it is the trees I suggest you to use the real terra or the M five hundred that okay. would be better. Okay, uh, are there any more questions? If no, actually we have collected some commonly asked one. Yeah. I have yeah. connected my drone, ACS2 and XRTK. Uh, okay, let's get back to uh, our... And I think uh, we forgot to answer the question about the, uh, the, the, can I share the, the field with other users? Um, other users, can, other users, and I think it's not. Uh, you need to, wants to share when you mapping. It wants to share to the, to the others. I think maybe in the future we can. Have if you can download to the report, yeah, you, then you can share. So if we can uh, upload the, the the our our field to the cloud, the, those things uh, they they've already asked. Can I uh, update our mm -hmm. LNT online? Yeah. So when that firmware is released, I think you can share your with field with other users. Okay. 
uh, the actually the same similar one. how to connect XRTK it doesn't show up in the hot spot list for me even if I press the F1 ah. key <laughs> and that's so Tim do you have any idea about that yes we yes, just no, have uh, we just have encountered this issue today and I have to say to upgrade this XRTK module uh, I mean the the, 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 the mushroom head uh, you must have the the account with the LND privilege. So if you don't have that privilege, uh, you will not be able to upgrade the XRDK firmware. And only if you upgrade that, so that, SR, that XRDK firmware we call the X-Link. So once the, RD, the XRDK have the X-Link firmware, then you can enable the XRDK uh, hotspot. So just, just come, uh, please contact our te technician after uh, this uh, uh, broadcast, and then we will see what we can do for you. So probably it's most likely your account problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the next one, can M five hundred map be used on the LNT? Ah, uh, it would be. It would be in the future. It's already under testing. Uh, it can. It can on work under the the LNT. It's under testing, and I think it will be released soon. And Please waiting Please for that. Please expect that. Uh, when will the real terror work with the LNT? It's already, it's already released. Why? Is, uh, I don't know where. I don't know what's your version of your. Uh, where are you from? At first, you need to update your uh, real terror version and the, the LNT version to the latest, and it's yeah. compatible now. Please update. Uh, my XRTK cannot go online while connected to INT. Drone and ACS2 are online. The LED shows it's connected. Do you have any idea? Tim? Mm. My answer would be just restart the XRTK and try again. Mm. What do you think? I think first oh, yeah. it's first it's if he's already do the configuration that means uh, that means the, the XRTK is already the latest version and it's compatible with the the LNT. So I think you need to first you need to check he, he said his SS2 and John's kind of all right and first you need to check the F2 indicator lights. It yes. must be triple flash. Yes. If it doesn't triple flash means that means your configuration may be a uh, failed means to check the, um, the name of the LNC and the password when you do the LNC, uh, configuration. And the secondly, if you still cannot, uh, it, if it can still not be online, I think you, it needs to get it to the, our distributor. I think it's, he's, he's a user, right? If you are, you are a user, you, you need to bring it to our distributor and our distributor will connect with us and we will check uh, remotely. Yeah. To fight the remote debug. The, yeah, yeah. Where is the problem? And if you are a distributor, can please directly connect with our technician. Yes. Okay. The next one. I have a problem. P forty hundred. Uh, P forty drone always disconnects from XRTK. When we meet this problem, we need try to call restart drone. Oh, so I think when so just make sure uh, your LNT is. Uh, working mode enable. Yeah. So that's really important. And secondly, uh, make sure your so some smartphone like this one I have, um, it somehow it will access both yeah, Wi-Fi and 4G. Oh. So uh, that will make some troubles for the uh, for the uh, LNT connection. So just cut off the for, just turn off the. Uh, mo mo mobile data on your smartphone and then only use the Wi-Fi. So that might solve your problem. Okay. Uh, models like XP2020 can work great without LNT. Why do, we, do new models have to use LNT? Oh, that's a good question. Because our new models, at first our new board, when we create our new models, uh, we create a new uh, flight controller. That is our uh, uh, Super X4. Mm -hmm. uh, so and it works first to to the to the cloud server. 
So when we want to make it, so you, first you can only work online uh, at the 4G connection. So we want to make it offline. So we need to create a local cloud mm -hmm. here. He he's a cl local cloud. Yes. Yeah. That's the yes. LNT. That's why we we need the LNT. Yeah. Basically, we migrate the IoT uh, solution to this local uh, server solution. Basically, this how it happens. Mm -hmm. Will be possible in the future to update XRTK offline without adding in Agri2? Um, yeah, that you do need have. that. A actually, you, only the old generations you need to, to old one, old versions you need to update. And if you buy it now, and it's already updated in, in our factory, it didn't need to update it again. So in the future, that will be not a problem. I think. Okay. Yes. Uh, I am uh, I am aware of the advantages of LNT, but why it is it not an option? We have to use the imperative. Yeah, it's only an option. You can choose the 4G connection yeah. as Vietnam and the Korean and the, our uh, Taiwan. Our ta Taiwan, uh, I think they also chose the the, the 4G. Yeah. So it's all it's yeah. an option. If you have the if you have the if you have the the, the 4G, 4G coverage, you can choose the 4G connection. Yeah. And the the, the LNT is only one of the options. Option. Yes. yes, I think in the LNT user guide there is a section uh, 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 saying that uh, I think the topic is the networking mode and its infrastructures. Mm -hmm. So I think if you have time, please read that session. Uh, it will tell you how this. 4G mode works and how this LNT mode works, and I think it will be really helpful. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, my XRTK F2 Lite is blinking three times but cannot go online. I have restarted the app and XRTK several times, still cannot go online. So, I already <coughs> answered this question. If you are a user, please connect with our, please bring this one. To our distributor, distributor. Yes. and we will remotely to check. Yep. Also, the sec second one ask also the same question we already, already, already. Okay. set okay. LNT to the working mode, and mobile data is always offline, online. and it's also got the problem. And so, it needs to, if you are a distributor, I think Nia is a distributor, right? Yeah, from contact your Cambodia. distributor. Um, the next one from Australia when completing a mission and the drone comes back instead of continue to. Uh, continue on more options on the screen could there be a safe mission option so another field could be started ah why needs to watch to that i don't understand this Could if this field is not finished he wants to do that at the same why, time why why uh, goes to another field to the simultaneous but for example you're working a, a half of this field and, it, and you stopped and you you, you save this field and it goes to the other field and why this half is you you will not continue to do that if I you really want to do that how to do it? but we don't have a choice because we didn't need that in, <laughs> in, in china in, in other other countries i think we don't have this problem mm -hmm. so i don't understand mm. um, um i think you can talk to your sales representative and Let's see if you can Any report this. I think this is a new yeah. feature. I think you can. Yep. Yeah, we can definitely. We can explore uh, that. Yeah, think about that. Okay, how to improve the coverage of the signal for the other devices since in high crops it is lost very quickly and it is the same with the previous one and it is even not possible to map easily. Uh, at, kind of similar. at first, I think uh, if you it's it, you are very not very easy to do the map. I think you need to make as already said, make a bigger antenna and make the the higher. The, the higher make it higher. And you can also try to make your SS to higher. Yeah, I think in the so in the uh, I think two or three years ago they are using the that rovers. Yeah, that so would be So some of them can hold them really high and. Yeah. So. We uh, also to suggest you to, to use the M500. That would be much quick. <laughs> yeah, 500 yeah. is much better. Yeah. And for our people, don't worry. 
if it is uh, fly without it's for example it's if it's fly uh, over the coverage of the LNT you will continue just like if you disconnect the the, the the charger for the LNT and the our drone will continue to to, to the to the operation so that's not a that you you don't have worry about that yes and the cleaned um the Clint is from Australia and he asked that question in uh continue to ask that in case wind picks up or weather changes, he means that he wants uh, to change to another field. Oh he wants to pick up or weather changes. Um okay. That makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> we'll we'll talk I yeah. will I will discuss with our Dr. Uh, Charles, okay. Yeah. <laughs> What are the advantages of working on the 4G basis? Why is it using the next generation 4G network? What are the advantages? Yeah. Which it, it's a um, large advantage when you got a 4G coverage. For example, there are someone already asked if I got a higher crop and I got a, got a higher crop and the mapping uh, distance is very large. Mm -hmm. If you have a 4G coverage, all that will be not a question. Even between your uh, your uh, our fixed station and your mapping your SS2, there are something between them. If you yeah. use the fixed station, there are no problem. And yes. the distance for the coverage of the fixed station is to uh, twenty kilometers. That is very large. That is the advantage for the for the four G. That yeah. is why we chose four G in China because. 4G in China is the coverage for, for 4G is almost everywhere. Yeah, yeah, that is why we chose it. Uh, the next question is from the professor. It's a long question. I am using the XAG Agro app on my Samsung uh, Galaxy tablet. The tablet can be connected to the internet with a SIM card, tablet mobile hotspot setting, network name, XAG123 password have been oh, applied the tablet uh, successfully it's not a question he just yeah, want yes, to share he just yes. want to share his uh, drone model right I don't understand but I think if you got some question about X agri because it's very old you can ask our distributors if they yeah, are already very I disconnected very the USB type C cable I configured the mobile hotspot sports setting on my cell phone when I connected this is his background when I connected the tablet to the internet using my cell phone, the XAG uh, app successfully connects. He just shared his story, very successful. I think, Thanks. I think he got yeah. a problem with ACB1. That is a very old one. We are talking about the LNT. Yeah. I think you can also uh, directly you ask your, your distributor. distributor in Turkey, yeah, please contact him. Uh, P100, we. Well, what will happen if the drone lost LNT signal during operation? I've already said. Uh, nothing. You continue to, to the operation. Yeah. Because we are intelligent. Do you yeah. see the last question? Uh, for for we, we use 4G network, yes. could we work with the portable RTK if we can? How we can? Yes, I think can. we should just try last week. Yeah, <laughs> you can, you can. You, if you have lot the 4G coverage, yeah, we'll show you. Please ask us in your in our X Care group. Uh, we'll we'll tell you how to use it. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. we'll yeah. talk it to you. Okay. And yes, YC. of course you can. What do you think if we frequently switch between LNT and 4G for the same drone do, due to certain reason? Will this cause any conflict to the cloud in recognizing the drone? Actually, uh, we didn't suggest you to do that. If you chose the LNT, I, I really suggest you to, to make the drone under LNT mode. Okay? If you always uh, switch them, maybe you got some problems. Okay? Then I didn't suggest you to do that. Okay. From Alex, will XAG release an uh, iOS version that works with LNT? Sorry? What no. do you mean? iOS version? Apple. Apple. So only Apple one. iOS. Uh, now we only have Android. He wants to, to, to be have the Apple Apple version. Okay. Sorry, we don't have. No, for now. Maybe in the future. In, uh, in the future, I think we didn't have so many. <laughs> yeah, I, I think, think I we, 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 we will not have. 
Why does an XAG Agri app work when Hotspot Mobile is set on the tablet? Yeah, please, just to chose the LNT questions, I think. Yeah, you is. Hello, how are the steps to work with the prescription from an image obtained with the real Terra and apply with V40? How does the LNT operate with the server? We don't need the highlight. Is kind of not that well, clear. I, I think we, the V40 have the able to working with the pre prescription map for now. It doesn't have this function. Okay. Uh, need to install SIM card on portable RTK drone ACS2 and drone right? Yes, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. Is there any more? We don't need the highlight, Monica. Thank you. Um, is there any more questions? If no, we will answer the questions from our Facebook group and from the Germain Fleming, how to upload area and drops to online platform to track drops and how to reduce fields being deleted after being marked out a day earlier with the LNT. I guess you can see that yeah, uh, we I have collected that. We've already answered this question. Yes, Tim, you can and the similar this one is the second, where there'll be an option in the future that we can run automated missions and fly manually off a joystick controller with GPS and no RTQ and NT. Uh, yes, this, yeah, this features. I don't know if it's a fe new feature or not. So, mm -hmm. so this feature will be released, I think, next year, maybe. Mm -hmm. And from yeah. David Ott. Can I show the question on our uh, comment area? And the next one is, my V40 doesn't save jobs or track hours of use when using the LNT. There a way to send them my account when I get somewhere to, uh, with internet access? So I think first of all, um, so I think uh, so. All the user data is actually stored in the LNT, so mm -hmm. no worries. And uh, so what what you can do is you can sync your LNT with the uh, with the internet, and so it will have some data exchange uh, for that. But because the synchronization network speed is really slow, so just make sure your LNT. So leave your LNT alone for a whole night. Mm -hmm. And then probably you can uh, trace your uh, user data after that. OK, thanks, Tim. Uh, is there any more questions from the audience are watching now? If no, our live stream is coming to an end. Is there any more questions? OK. Let's see what questions we got. So the first one from Robert is, how does the new R150 work with the LNT, which I guess is no, right? Yeah, no. Uh, it's only can work on 4G uh, connection and only work with uh, fixed station. No. Yeah, no matter the old one and new one. Uh, and the next one is Scotty from New Zealand. Hi, guys. When will there be an app update to remove the command timeout bug? It is quite confusing for operators. We are working on it. Uh, yes. The bug will be fixed in the next month, so just wait for the one month. The, the new release of the application. Okay, the third one from UK. Uh, do this work? Do the P40 and the P100 work with local course RTK networks? Yes, of course. It's just like I think in the UK you have a V40, right? So it is the same as the V40. Okay, thank you. If there is no question, let's say goodbye to our audience and welcome to uh, subscribe our channel and our li uh, next live will be on the next Thursday in the afternoon GMT uh, plus 8 and we will see you at that time. We'll talk about the LNT as well. See you next time.